The FlowServe PSS4 Precision Split Seal provides the easiest and most successful installation experience available by combining proven PSS design features with our latest intrinsic 3D key joint alignment technology. Optimized face loading maintains seal contact, even during fluctuating pressure conditions. And externally mounted springs and pins eliminate clogging and corrosion concerns. Bottom line, the PSS4 provides reliable process containment over a long service life. It is ideal for nearly all industries including water and wastewater, pulp and paper, power generation, light chemical and other general industrial applications. The PSS4 is easy to install. Its unitized component, semi-cartridge design, installs around the shaft outside the seal chamber with the equipment fully assembled. No setting dimensions or measurements are required when installing the seal. This video provides a general overview of the PSS4 installation process. Prior to beginning, it is important to read the installation manual in its entirety and ensure compliance with all applicable safety and equipment lockout procedures. To get started, remove the seal components and installation materials from the box. Lay them out on a clean, flat surface. Make sure you have two seal drive assembly halves and two gland assembly halves. Note that depending on the seal size and equipment configuration, the gland assembly halves may be machined from castings or bar stock. You should also have an assortment of hex key wrenches, lubricant and spare fasteners. As for tools, you'll only need to provide a common flathead screwdriver and an open-ended wrench and a torque wrench. Prior to beginning, temporarily remove the seal gland mounting studs from the equipment on which the seal will be installed. To install the seal drive, first apply the provided lubricant onto all the exposed surfaces of the sleeve o-ring, rotating face o-ring ends and seal drive split joint gaskets. Next, confirm that the set screws are backed out of the seal drive bore, so they do not interfere with the fit of the seal drive around the shaft. Loosely assemble the seal drive halves around the shaft. Tighten the seal drive cap screws until the rotor face joints are brought into contact. Check the face joints for any gross misalignment and correct as needed. Continue to tighten the seal drive cap screws until the seal drive ends make contact. Pushing on the metal seal drive, slide the seal drive toward the seal chamber until all the setting devices contact the face of the seal chamber. Finish tightening the seal drive cap screws. You'll find the torque recommendations for your specific seal in the seal installation and operation manual. Note, a small mismatch remaining in the rotating face joints will be self-corrected by the spring load during the gland installation. With the setting devices against the face of the seal chamber, tighten the seal drive set screws. Tighten all the set screws on one split joint before moving on to the other split joint. The necessary torque will vary by seal size. Refer to the installation instructions provided with the seal for the correct torque values. Check all set screws to verify they are torqued to the correct specification. Finally, remove the setting devices by unscrewing the socket head cap screw from the seal drive and clean the seal faces with alcohol. This completes the installation of the rotating portion of the seal. To install the seal gland, lubricate the split face ends of the stationary seal face with the lubricant provided. Then, lubricate the O-ring ends and the exposed surfaces of the split joint gaskets. Clean the stationary seal faces with alcohol. Next, carefully assemble the gland halves around the rotor. Avoid any contact between the seal face and the shaft. Finger tighten the gland cap screws, leaving a gap between the gland halves about 8 tenths of a millimeter or 30 thousandths of an inch wide. If previously removed, reinstall the gland studs at this point. 
finger tighten the gland mounting nuts so the gland gasket makes contact with the equipment mounting surface. Now, fully tighten the gland cap screws. Again, refer to the installation instructions provided with the seal for the proper torque settings. Next, evenly tighten the gland mounting nuts until the gland gasket is fully compressed and the gland is squarely seated against the face of the seal chamber. As before, refer to the installation instructions provided with the seal for the correct torque values. Observe the length of the lock pins outside of the gland. They should extend 2.5 to 4.8 mm or 100 to 190 thousandths of an inch from the gland. If outside these parameters, remove the gland and recheck the installation. To complete the seal installation, pry off the centering devices with a screwdriver. If required, connect the flush line to the gland or plug if unused. Turn the shaft by hand as a final check to be sure nothing is binding the rotating seal face. Before startup, vent air from the seal chamber and follow all applicable safety and equipment startup procedures. FlowServe offers repair kits as well as individual parts to restore worn PSS4 split seals to original performance. These kits and parts are available from numerous FlowServe Quick Response Center stocking locations for immediate response to customer needs. For more information about FlowServe seals, please visit flowserve.com or contact your local FlowServe representative. <music>